Hey guys, Tyler from Chrome Squad here. Today I'm going to show you a new program called Nearpod. This is a program that teachers can use to find and create new lessons to use in their classrooms. Let's take a look at it. So the first thing you need to do is create an account with Nearpod. You can even sign in with your Gmail. After you create your account, you will log in and you'll see this home page. Each of these five tabs will take you to a different place on the website. You can also click on this icon in the bottom right corner to speak to Nearpod tech support if you have any other questions. So the My Library tab will take you to all the lessons that you have saved. You can click the New button in the top left to either create a new lesson or create a folder to put your lessons in. You even have options for previewing, editing, or exporting any lesson that you create. So the Explore tab lets you browse other lesson plans that people have made. You can find any lesson plan that you want to use and then you can save it for your own use. Or if you find a lesson plan you like, you can even edit it to make it better fit your lesson plan. You can click on the Filters button up here to specifically narrow down what kind of lessons you want. You can look for free or paid lessons and you can also narrow it down by subject and grade level. The Join tab is where you'll go to let students join your lesson. This is where students will go to join the lesson that you start. When you start your lesson, you'll be presented with a code to give the students. It's very similar to Google Classroom and you can even link Nearpod to your Google Classroom. Next, the Create tab is where you can make your own lessons. These lessons are made in the format of a slideshow, kind of like PowerPoint or Google Slides. Once you start a new slide, you have many options for adding content. You can add things like videos, audio files, PDFs, and even pre-made 3D models. You can even use the Upload Files button here at the bottom to import PDFs, PNG files, or even pre-made PowerPoint presentations. The final tab is the Reports tab. Now, as you can see, this tab is blank for me, but what this page normally shows you is different uh, statistics about student engagement. So after you conduct a lesson, you can go to the Reports page and look at different statistics about the engagement and activity of your students. I hope this video helped explain what Nearpod is to you and maybe helped you understand it a little bit better. Make sure to use the Explore tab and find some interesting lessons that you can use in your classroom. For more tips and tricks, make sure to check out our other videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.